Welcome back to David's ASMR. Um, today we're just gonna be going over the um, Super Bowl and my predictions on it. So if you do like uh, the sounds of my uh, my voice, or if you just like my predictions, please like and subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. And um, let's start, okay? So, Kansas City and Kansas City Chiefs and the Philadelphia Eagles are a very, very, um, both very good teams. Both have really good offenses. And, and uh, Kansas City has an okay defense. And then Philadelphia has a really good defense. <sighs> defense. Um, how I see this going? Well, I gotta break down slowly. Um, going to start off with the Kansas City Chiefs side of the ball. Right now, um, we have Patrick Mahomes as, at the QB. At tight end, we have Travis Kelsey. Those are the big names. And we got Juju Smith-Schuster at wide receiver. Um, after that, they have a couple of, I forget the targets, but Okay, they have a pretty good O line actually, um, and yeah, they have a pretty good O line. Right now, Patrick is still hurt with that ankle injury, I believe, but he should be a lot more healthier than he was in the AFC Championship game. Um, I predict him to have a a mediocre game. Um, I have him. Um, throwing for around anywhere between 250 yards and 300 yards in the Super Bowl. Um, I do believe he's going to get sacked twice or maybe even three times in the Super Bowl. Um, two or three times, I'm going to go and say that. Um, he's going to be a very, he's going to be a threat. Um, to run, he's not gonna run that much, but he will be a threat to run, even though he does have that ankle injury. Um, and throwing the ball, he's gonna be pretty good. He's always been pretty good at throwing the ball. Uh, let's see. So again, two hundred. I have him rushing for about maybe like thirty yards. Um, and then touchdowns. He'll, he'll throw about three touchdowns. A pretty good throwing day. And I'll say he's not gonna rush for any touchdowns. I do have him. I do believe he will have one interception on the day as well because that uh, Philadelphia defense is good. And then, yeah, then Travis Kelsey, I believe, will have um, two tutties, two touchdowns, touchdowns, touchdowns with, um, I'll say, 100 yards receiving, roughly. And I have. And then, and then on the um, defensive side of the ball of Kansas City, um, yeah, I have, actually, I have very little to, to know about them. I know, I believe they have that one good defensive tackle. Oh, I forgot his name. That's not good. Um, but I believe that defense is going to do okay. I believe he'll get one sack. Um, so I see that going. Nothing too much to say on there. And then I'm going to go on to the Eagles offensive side of the ball. First of all, we have Jalen Hurts, who is a very, very, very he's good QB, but I think the team around him is really better than the Kansas City team. But I do believe Patrick Mahomes is probably the best player, will be the best player on the um, I have Jalen Hurts rushing for about two touchdowns and pa passing for two touchdowns. I have him, uh, let's see, I'll say one interception as well. Um, and then, I, and then A.J. Brown is really good. I have A.J. Brown just going off. Um, I want to say... He's going to go for about maybe 150 yards. And then a Devontae Smith. 
Uh, I have them going for about 70 yards as well, so it's a pretty good duo. A touchdown for each of them. And then, um, yeah, their O-line's pretty good. You got your Jason Kelsey, you know, it's the Kelsey, Kelsey, Kelsey Bowl. Um, but, yeah, that's how I see the Philadelphia offense. I see it being pretty good as well. And I'm now I'm going to move on to the Philadelphia Eagles defense. You got Nakamadon, which, you know, as a Bucks fan, he was really good in our Super Bowl run. Well, not in the Super Bowl run, but he was pretty good. Um, they have Slay, who's been playing pretty good this year as well, our corner. And, um, yeah, that's all. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's all I know on their defense. But I believe that their defense is legit. I see them. It's a pretty legit team. I'm going to say they're good for the most part. Um, but I do have the Eagles winning. The Eagles winning 28 to 24. Yes, 28 to 24. Um, how I see that happening is the, um, I believe that Kansas City is going to be a, well, um, struggle in the first half. I believe Eagles will get up to a 21, um, Point lead, and then after that, it, um, Kansas City starts marching back, and then in the fourth quarter, it will be 21 to 21, and the Kansas City will go to get a three and out. They'll have the ball. Then the Eagles are going to three and out. It's going to be about five minutes left now. Well, not three and out. I'm going to have the Eagles not three and out, but not get a field goal. And then I'm going to have the um, Kansas City kick a field goal with about six to five minutes left on the clock. And then I'm going to have the Eagles go down and score a touchdown, and that's going to be the last score of the game. And it'll be 28 to 24, 28 to 24, 28 to 24. And then the Philadelphia Eagles will win the Super Bowl. And yeah, if you guys disagree or agree with my predictions or want to educate me a little bit more about the players, just let me know in the comments below. Again, like, subscribe if you like my voice or like the predictions. I hope you guys have a good rest of your night. There will be another video posted. I'm just going to leave it off here. Have a good one, guys.